at the box office. The Harry Potter film series grossed well over $7 billion. So, how did the celebs spend their money? Let's start with the man himself, Daniel Radcliffe. He's been working consistently on stuff like Miracle Workers, Swiss Army Man, and Horns since he hung up his Harry Potter spectacles. His career has earned him a total of $110 million. He also has no qualms about spending. Real estate is where Radcliffe spends the majority of his money. He bought three residences in New York City, not one, not two, but three. This includes a $5.6 million West Village apartment, a $4.9 million Soho apartment, and a $6.2 million West Wall Street flat. You'd imagine a movie star like Radcliffe would drive around in a spanking new Lamborghini or a classic Ferrari. Consider the inverse of that. Surprisingly, he looks to be naive when it comes to cars. He travels in a Fiat Grand Punto, which costs roughly $4,000. That is, if you receive a lousy deal, and I'm sure there are flies or something. In terms of oddities, Redcliffe is every bit the eccentric celebrity you'd expect. For example, while everyone loves a good night's sleep, not everyone is willing to spend as much money on it as he is, having spent $17,000 on a new bed mattress when he was 22. Surprisingly, this was still on the low end. This brand may sell for more than $100,000. Then there's his passion for the arts. All of this began when he saw his first art love, Mona de Mary and Me by Jim Hodges. They weren't going to sell it to him because he wasn't a well-known collector. The artist, on the other hand, was a major Harry Potter enthusiast and insisted on buying it for an undisclosed sum. Radcliffe then famously spent $2 million on a kaleidoscope painting by Damon, which originally struck Radcliffe's attention and became a favorite of his. Many celebrities have issues with the paparazzi, and Radcliffe is no different. People have been following him around and photographing everything they can. Radcliffe received a very particular form of retaliation. He made the decision to acquire many pairs of the same attire and wear it everywhere he went. As a result, whenever someone took his picture, it appeared to be an old photograph that was being passed off as new. As a result, it was worthless. That's vengeance on a shoestring. Fred and George would be ecstatic. Emma Watson may have started off as the endearing Hermione Granger, but she's come a long way since then. Her roles in the films Beauty and the Beast, Little Women, and the perks of being a wallflower had netted her $85 million. Her purchases are as refined as one would expect. Her first large purchases with her Harry Potter money were a laptop, a vacation with her father, and a $30,000 Prius. She has certainly upped her ride since then, with a $95,000 armored Cadillac Escalades, a $71,000 Mercedes-Benz E-Class, and a $43,000 Audi S3. Then there's her house in Greater London's historic Islington neighborhood. The two-story, 2,271-square-foot house has four bedrooms and two baths. It was purchased for an estimated $3.3 million in 2016. The house has a lot of history because it was once owned by George Orwell, the author of 1984. According to rumors, she chose this house site unseen since it promised to be paparazzi-proof. That's how you sell a private movie star. She's well-known in the fashion industry for routinely donning luxury ensembles from Ralph Lauren and Louis Vuitton. Then there's the jewelry, which she's known to lavish on such as a $9,000 set of pyramid drop earrings and a $12,500 diamond trio. And beyond that, she's known for advocacy and charitable giving. This includes a million-dollar donation to a hotline for troubled women. As a result, she is the hero both on and off the screen. Rupert Grint, who plays Ron Weasley, hasn't enjoyed the same level of success as some of his co-stars, but he's not doing too badly. He was still claimed to be worth $50 million as of today. That figure could have been much higher if he hadn't squandered his money, like a teenager who just became a millionaire. For starters, he purchased a $7.5 million home. The mansion is set on 22.6 acres of property, complete with expansive gardens and its own lake. The six-bedroom home includes two swimming pools, a jacuzzi, a gym, a game room, a tennis court with lighting, and two guest cottages. Grin also accomplished a lifelong desire. He made the decision to work as an ice cream vendor. He bought a Bedford Mr. Whippy ice cream truck and began driving about giving free ice cream to kids supplied by Ron Weasley himself. We don't know how much he paid for it back then. Today, though, that type of truck costs roughly $12,000, plus a franchise fee of $35,000, taking everything into account. 
That's a tiny amount to pay for a young millionaire to fulfill a boyhood goal. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Are you a fan of the Harry Potter series? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.